Charter Management Tribunal is uh, operating since uh, 1st July 2015 after the new act of uh, Strata Management Act 2013 come into force. So it was uh, then uh, it's governed by the Strata Management Tribunal Regulation 2015. So any dispute between the owner and purchaser with the depot, if the depot is in charge of the management, or GMB, MC, subsidiary MC, or managing agent appointed by the COB, if you have any problem dispute with them, you can file against them through the Strata Management Tribunal. And the limit of the claim is uh, 250,000. What are the common problems filed to the tribunal? Uh, the most common one is the interflow leakage. The second common one is the default of maintenance charges. And then if the owner has any unhappiness over the calculation of the maintenance charges or late payment interest, any encroachment onto the common properties, all these things can be filed to the tribunal as well. Now the government already set a, a standard by law for all the uh, high-rise property, so they must follow the bylaw. No more your own house rules. No more your, you, you don't need to follow your own deed of uh, mutual covenant. So it provides the basic protection to all the property owners. Then uh, on the failure to call the first JGM of the GMB MC uh, by the depot, then you can also file to the tribunal. Definitely, uh, before anything goes to the tribunal, you can try to make the complaint to the COB first. But if the COP do not take any actions, then you only file to the tribunal. Uh, COP is the commissioner of building. Okay, uh, the the person empowered under the law to to uh, to oversee all the issue with the relating to the GMB and MC or oh, all so the stratified buildings. Okay? Uh, okay, so it depends on the location where you where your property is. Then you refer to the COP. Go to the local council, find the COP. Usually, is the mayor himself, and then any non-compliance by the management committee, or any committee overstay they are on their tenure more than two two years, and then any committee uh, they have already over three terms, but they still continue to stay on, then that is an issue. It's against the law. You can file to the tribunal to disqualify them, and then unhappiness over the COB decision or directions, then. Uh, you can also take the COB to the tribunal. So that's a very, uh, very, very convenient for all. You can take anyone to the tribunal, but can file their claim to the tribunal. Definitely depot, a purchaser or a private proprietor. Then uh, a joint management body, a MC, a subsidiary MC managing agent is those appointed by the COB and any other interested person with the leave of the tribunal. The awards of the tribunal can be given. Okay, even one of the party did not uh, turn up in the tribunal. Unless you prove that or oh, you do not receive the notice of hearing, then you can set aside the award. If the claimant was uh, withdrawn by the claimant without liberty to file fresh or struck out by the tribunal due to whatever reason, then the same claim cannot be filed again through the short term so, tribunal. Can the tribunal award be challenged? Definitely, it can be challenged. Only file judicial review to the High Court. If you think the award has serious irregularity, always remember, Short Term Management Act is also Act 757. These are the keywords you would need to know. 757. So these are some tips given for you. If you want to make a claim, then you file against the MC or GMB. Then it will be binding on the GMB or MC. And then you try to source for your own quotation in the in case the uh, upper unit owner, the responsible party, he, he want to pay monetarily, then the GMB or MC cannot rely on financial stretch uh, as it's different for not carrying out the repair work. In fact, even though the upper unit owner doesn't want to give you the access, the GMB or MC must issue notice of seven days for access into the premises. Forcible entry can be affected, okay? Uh, if in the case of emergency. <laughs>